After witnessing Cody's intense emotional reaction and his expression of frustration about not being able to openly display his affection for Kriber as Robin, it becomes apparent that Cody may have been a monogamist masquerading as a polygamist all along. Hello. Everyone welcome back to my channel. Next gossip. My name is Rosie and I hope everyone is. Having a great day keep watching and hit. The subscribe button so let's start. It's as though he's been hiding his true feelings and preferences, perhaps out of fear or societal pressure. This revelation leads to some intriguing speculation about Cody's journey through his multiple marriages and relationships. It's possible that Cody's initial marriage to Mary was more driven by youthful passion and horniness rather than a genuine commitment to polygamy. However, when the reality of infertility set in, it strained their relationship, as Cody seemed to have a particular breeding kink. He became disenchanted with Mary's inability to conceive, leading to a growing sense of disconnection. In this narrative, Cody's alleged cowardice may have prevented him from addressing these issues directly with Mary. Instead of facing the situation head-on and seeking a divorce, he might have resorted to considering polygamy as a solution. Mary, influenced by religious beliefs, may have seen it as a way to keep Cody tethered to her, despite his apparent waning interest. Cody's subsequent relationships with Janelle and Christine could have been shaped by convenience and opportunity. Janelle, for instance, may have been drawn to the idea of a part-time husband to help raise her children and provide a degree of independence. Cody, on the other hand, saw this as a way to have multiple women in his life without officially divorcing Mary. As the story goes, once he accepted Janelle as his second wife, Cody was committed to maintaining the polygamous lifestyle to maintain community support and his own image. The addition of Christine, who demanded exclusivity, only further complicated his situation. However, it's suggested that Cody might not have been deeply in love with any of these women. His feelings might have been superficial and fleeting, driven by puppy love, lust, or other superficial attractions. The jealousy and tension between the wives could have added strain to these relationships. As the years went on, it's proposed that Cody's true nature began to emerge. He may have fallen in love with someone outside of the polygamous circle, prompting a change in his behavior. The excitement and novelty of maintaining multiple relationships may have waned, and he started distancing himself from his polygamous lifestyle. The author speculates that Cody's ongoing involvement with the TV show may have kept him tethered to this facade, even as his ex-wives began to see through it. However, the stress of maintaining this image, combined with the realization that his discarded exes were no longer as preoccupied with raising children and infighting, might have pushed him to a breaking point. Cody, now a middle-aged man, may be experiencing burnout and the realization that the polygamous lifestyle is no longer sustainable for him. This narrative presents an intriguing perspective on Cody's evolution from a polygamist to a serial monogamist, driven by various factors like societal pressure, fear, and a desire for novelty. It suggests that he may have been acting out of convenience rather than deep emotional connections in his relationships. That he cannot show the world who true. Love is in Break Robin on camera 4. All to see and I suppose one of the effects. That completely cracks me up is that he's frenetic at Janelle and Christine's. Fellowship dude needs to flash back that. He literally married Mary's partner. Sister-in-law, on the other hand, the office and garage to domain his auto I've been allowing about the whole Robin. Furnishing an office and a place to put his auto thing we have bandied that if anyone was in a position to have a Working office it was Mary with her one. Spratt who was not indeed living at home most. Of the time they were in the QSOC. And redundant space I suppose the reason none. Of the OG3 did it was because it would. Make it so Cody was in one wife's home. Further than others they wouldn't have. Pictured of creating that. Inequality I'd also suppose this is why. Zero of the OG-13 has any form of Cody's. Name and their name still Solomon's. Middle name is Cody the OG-3 were always. 
trying for an indeed playing field, I am not. Saying they were successful in fact I'm absolutely certain that the family would have ultimately collapsed without Robin. Still she no way played show that is why. He threw the fit over the laptop gift it. Meant he wouldn't be tied to Robin's house when he worked on the other hand. Cody is so brilliant well, if that is true. I do not know why he's unfit to attune with Mary the insincerity of this dude is astounding actually at this point I feel like the reason he will not attune with Mary is because he's jealous of her business success post arrangement he maintains the upper hand by withholding attention and he's so jealous that the OG3 can forfend for themselves without him he wants to believe that they would be absolutely lost in a deep dark depression helical. Without him I love that they proved him. Wrong flashback when Mary did the whole B and B thing herself but also Cody was first in line for the grand strip. Cutting what a chump and the fabricated drama of it all I am re-watching the show. From the morning and and I got to the Vegas move and in hindsight it is hugely unwatchable they lay on the drama so damn thick and the worst part is I feel like they really made the kiddies believe this BS we know now that there was no way any real peril of persecution and all of it was just drama for the cameras and of course Cody's god complex falsehoods in believing he's the center of the macrocosm on the downside cryos robins Acting chops were much better also. There were factual gashes in some of her. Meltdowns and right out of the gate they. Reveal what a heavy impact all of this. Had on the kiddies. Leaving faves toys. Musketeers extended family and the first. Stable home they ever had before in a. Frantic rush meanwhile Robin cannot get. Her together so Cody who is. Presumably in fear of eminent arrest. Stays behind another day to help her. Pack if they were truly that alarmed. Of arrest also advanced carriers or. Temporary workers with the new TLC plutocrat. To help load her stuff into a truck. Drama chaos head soul in torture. Manufactured stories and traumatized. Children are among the intermittent themes. On this show, on the other hand light. Bold the fight with Mary over land in. The trees Mary arguing she no way said. She did not want the land in the trees. Robin is the victim it's all like I. Don't watch any land is good Cody is. Raging how dare Mary give Robin the last. Choice the whole time Robin and Cody. Were playing the game of how stressful. It was trying to find a reimbursement for Robin. And not by one she had no intention of. Renting or indeed erecting that is why she. Didn't watch what land she got in this. Was such a crazy plot to fight so. Hard over because it was kind of egregious. Indeed indeed also that they were no way. Going to make anything on Koyo Pass. Cody raging so hard because he felt like. Robin was getting slighted again as if she were ever put last for anything was ridiculous still my real question is about the flagstaff move why didn't Dayton just apply to an off for counsel like the rest of the kiddies were pushed into doing was he trying to escape his family and unfortunately for him they followed him the other kiddies were basically bullied into staying in Nevada for resident. Education and a quick hunt shows UNLV is cheaper than NA indeed as Arizona. Residers I completely understand not wanting to go to UNLV but that didn't matter for any other Sprat Leon made it out of state for counsel and they got all the heed from the parents for going to a more precious academy and I feel for Dayton he comes across as a genuine sprat who's just trying to go to academy and get educated and get his unborn 
rolling in I hope he was agitated about. The academy he went to it's just. Frustrating to see the rest of the kiddies. Get the short stick and the OG kiddies got. Squinched so hard they had to be on television and. Didn't get anything to show for it the. OG kiddies having to grow up on television paid for. Robin's big man's filled with crap and. I occasionally wonder what Robin would have. Done if Dayton applied to nearly. Remote. Or indeed abroad extract the whole family. To go to. Timbuktu on the other hand I've a. Question why is there no filming of just. Cody and Robin Cody and Robin are. The. Only couple left Cody has made it veritably. Clear for numerous times that the only woman. He really wants is Robin so why is there. No filming of just them alone indeed at. The end he made it veritably clear that he. Refused to talk about Robin why. And their sexual pressure is too important for. The camera crew to handle and because. They know we know but they do not want us. To know that they know we know. Also Robin's aged kitty's eye. Watched a skulk peep also my brain. Entwined in on the show from earlier. This season where Robin claimed that her. Aged kitties suffered in Vegas allowing. Cody wasn't around a lot and how some. Believe she's doing Munchausen by. Deputy completely spelled wrong I know. And in actuality Davin Aurora and. Brianna wanted to see their bud pater. But. She shifted it for Cody my logic. Behind this is originally she stated that. Vegas and reimbursement casing were when it. Started which would have been right. After the move to Vegas secondly it was. About three to four times latterly that Cody. Espoused those kitties under his name I need. A slightly high analyst or one of the. Other sister women tick tocks to deep dive. Into this as I feel it could be a new. And intriguing spot and her kitties were. Suffering so much but she decided to add. Two further kitties to the blend and an implicit. Brown haired spirit baby make it make. Since crime brothers cares that her kitties. Suffered but does not watch that he wasn't. There for the OG kitties in Soin is a fabricator. There's no way that those kitties were. Stewing down for a practical foreigner. That was only down from them for perhaps. 24 hours hours Robin lies about. Everything if there is not video footage. Or textbook communication evidence of commodity she. Says it's a teradiddle also Robin is crazy. During the relinquishment Cody was always. Pointing out they were not agitated her. Gravidity other kitties were not agitated. Had Marie done the dirty work for the. Last advertisement so weird these hurdles. They had to go through were not as big as. They allowed. The first was mared. Decoupling that was the big one. Everything differently I believe fell into. Place the kitties were agitated to see there. Pater. And I may be petty then but I give. His kitties a lot of credit for not saying. Or acting like I am his not you I come. From a separated family and authentically. Hate seeing my parents be better with. Their new consorts good for them they. Gave those kitties a chance not me I'd be. The reason the whole family fell piecemeal. And in occasion 4 of season 18 Christine. Says that it would be so easy to fix. This hence why Cody does not communicate his. Children and so on. What do you guys. Suppose perhaps it would have been easier at. One point to sort effects out between. Jody and some of his kitties but by now I. Really do suppose some islands have been. Burned down and will no way be restored. And I do not suppose it'll ever be truly. Resolved one of the biggest issues is. That I believe the kitties need and earn. A real reason from Cody for the ways he. Has neglected them and I do not suppose. Cody possesses the tone mindfulness or. Modesty to make that be on the. 
Other hand sad parenthood I cannot be the only one that gets touched off by watching how Cody treats his children speaking from my own particular experience with a father who just didn't watch he only had two other children with my mama why do men feel so comfortable abandoning their families why do they feel entitled to be treated like lords while treating everyone like trash watching k is so jerrying if you are not going to fight for your wives that is okay but at least fight to be present in their lives and i suppose it's really hard to understand that cody does not love his children let alone love them unconditionally he only wants to be around people or kitties if they worship him and he gets a charge out of that because of how it makes him feel he only only cares eventually about himself i suppose parents just can understand how he doesn't watch about his kitties i know i can't understand it at all still cody is not being allowed to love robin in season 18 occasion 08 cody says the only woman i've relationship with right now is robin but we have no way been allowed to basically be in love with each other or find solace in each other because of this quasi plural marriage mess that's been going on i mean w how ilis can this joe be really end of all the ridiculous cody has said in 18 seasons this takes the cutlet a truly awful moment he loves to suppose of the two of them as these star cross lovers who were kept piecemeal by these evil which is he is living his own shakespearean tragedy and also cody is such a fabricator robin and i were not allowed to be in love with each other yet he spends 100 of his time with her it's as if he does not suppose observers have eyes cognizance and smarts we've watched the show for a long time doofus and i took that as a complaint that he and robin could not go into full blown make out mode in front of the other wives because notoriety always takes it way too particular you know but they've been shacking up simply with each other for times now so what's stopping them does their constant pda induced dry he's in the camera crew are they unfit to keep their hands off each other long enough to retake a freaking scene is that why we no way see them together at home what about the kitties do they refrain from inviting musketeers over